As an artist, I feel there is a responsibility of bringing focus to social issues. This partially stems from facing discrimination myself, growing up in the marginalized and oppressed communities on the U.S. border. I'm disenchanted with the world of punk and indie rock. I spent years teaching myself composition. I found my voice in the structure and the arrangements of classical music somewhat by chance, fueled by the desire and inspiration of writing a full symphony. You know, after three albums and multiple world tours in a band, I chose to leave that rock and roll lifestyle behind and focus all my energy on classical composition. As a composer, I always want the music to grab the attention of the listener, but I'd also like the music to spark an interest in the subject matter of the Kurds, all in hopes of raising awareness about the struggle they've endured for decades and their resilience in their fight against oppression. I highlighted darker textures and tones in the music to evoke feelings indicative of the Kurdish struggle. But the final movement has a resolve of hope to portray their fight against oppression. Oshalon is an expression of admiration, of solidarity for the Kurdish struggle, inspired by the resilience, resistance, and distress. The Kurdish movement, engendered by the leadership and writings of Abdullah Oshalon, have evolved beyond a fight for self-determination and freedom. No longer fighting for just an independent Kurdish state, but working to create a stateless democracy for the entire Middle East, regardless of ethnic origin. This is Rojava. Despite enduring decades of incarceration and absolute solitary confinement while being denied the most basic human rights, Oshalon's ideas continue to inspire this movement, not just in Rojava, but across the world.